In this video, we are going to explain you how to use this TradeBots desktop application. We will also see various other things like how to create the strategies and how to execute the orders using those strategies and various other things. First in, uh, let's assume that you have got the zip file from us, you extracted that and installed the application on your desktop or laptop. After that, once you open the application, it will first ask you for email ID and password. So please enter the email ID and password provided by us and hit on connect button. Once after you hit on connect, you will see that your broker and client ID are pre-configured. All you have to do is just enter other details like password, app ID, client secret, year of birth and then hit on login. Once after you hit on login, it will take 5 to 10 seconds for the authentication to happen. And once after the authentication is done, you will enter into this application. First thing that you have to do after you enter into the application is to hit on start button. Uh, there are two modes here. One is paper mode and the second is live mode. You can choose whether you want to do paper trading or you want to do live trading. Uh, based on that, uh, you just have to select which mode you want to be in and hit on start button. So for now, let me pick up the paper trade and then hit on start button. Now let's talk about the interface. Uh, this software is divided into two sections. Uh, one is for the dashboard where you can see all the strategies and all. And then the lower section is uh, to check your PNL and various other things. So first let's discuss about the top section of this application. In the top section, you have four pages. First is today's strategies, legwise details, order book and all strategies. All strategies is the place where you can see all your strategies. There are some people who want to have so many strategies, but only a few strategies are configured for each day. For example, I might have 15 strategies, but uh, on a particular day, let's say on Monday, I want to trade only in three strategies. In that case, I will see all 15 strategies in this all strategies uh, dashboard. However, I will only see three strategies in today's strategies dashboard. Just to give you an example, uh, let me create a strategy and I will only limit that to Friday since today is Friday and I hit on save. You can see that I have this strategy in all strategies and let me go to the last. Okay, you can see that it's checkmarked only for Friday. And if I go to today's strategies, again, I can see that particular strategy. Okay, ID number 33 and ID number 33. Now let me create another strategy, whereas I will uncheck Friday and I want to trade only in these four days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If I hit on save, I can see this strategy in all strategies. However, if I come to today's strategies, I don't see that particular strategy because it is not configured to run today, which is Friday, right? So that is what today's strategies and all strategies. By default, when you log in into the software, you will log in into today's strategy so that you don't see other unwanted strategies for that particular day. This is just to keep the dashboard clean and simple, all right? And then we also have Two more tabs one is legwise details let us say we have executed a strategy uh, you see the legwise positions in this tab let me run a strategy so that you get some clarity and one more thing if you try to edit anything uh, for a particular strategy it will throw a message saying that modifying a strategy here will only modify strategy for today because you are modifying in today's strategies tab right if you want to permanently modify any strategy you can go to all strategies and then you can edit right however if you want to keep the original strategy like that and for some reason you only want to modify for that particular day we gave you an option to modify only in today's strategy so let me go ahead and then hit on ok let me place a strategy for 135 30 seconds and then say say so let's wait for three more seconds
yeah now as you see the strategy has been executed exactly at 135 30 seconds and you see that the live pnl is being shown here but let's come back to the topic now we are discussing about the legwise details if you look at the legwise details you see two rows for both the legs and you also see the pnl for that and what is the stop loss that you have given target trailing everything all the details that you have given in the strategy and we also have order book and in order book also you see uh, these two legs but the main difference between order book and legwise details is that in order book you see each and every order that we place let me exit this strategy so that you get some idea uh, if i hit on exit all button here it will ask me whether i want to exit if i hit on yes then you can see that in order book we are uh, recording both the entries and exits so you see two buy and then two sell transactions whereas in legwise you will only see two entries because it is the legwise detail it doesn't matter whether it is uh, whether the position is open or closed but we are showing one entry per leg so that's the key difference between legwise and order book and then the other thing is if you want to know how many times your trailing has happened or when is the next trailing all those sorts of details are given clearly in the legwise details okay so this is extremely useful if you want to track your positions during live market hours so that's all about these four tabs and one other thing uh, that i would like to mention is you also have an option to edit a strategy or you can also delete a strategy and at the same time if you want to exit the strategies individually you also have exit buttons here so when a position is running you can individually exit a strategy or if you want to exit all the strategies at once you also have exit all feature here and then the next thing i would like to talk about is uh, this global uh, max profit and global max loss but before that let us see first of all what are the options available for uh, each and every strategy so uh, if you edit a strategy or if you hit on add new strategy you have all this bunch of options available so let us see these parameters in detail first is the symbol you can select whether you want to have nifty or bank nifty and you can also choose if you want to have the underlying as future price nifty future or a bank nifty future and then you also have expiry dates here you can choose which expiry you want by default latest expiry will be selected number of lots order type entry time exit time and entry type as well whether you want to enter into buy position or sell position in case if you want to have a hedge to positions you can have one strategy for buy and one strategy for sell and then strike out you can choose whether you want to enter into atm itm or otm okay if you give 100 here it means otm if you give zero it means uh, atm and then you can also uh, trade with itms as well if you give minus 100 and uh, individual whether you want to have into combined or individual sl and you have mtm profit and mtm loss as well so this is at a strategy level at a strategy level whether you want to have uh, uh, an mtm profit or mtm loss you can give it here uh, likewise you also have the target uh, you can give target in points or percentage and you also have stop loss in terms of points or percentage and then you also have the trailing stop loss in case if you wish to have uh, both trial x and trial y and uh, uh, then you have limit order configuration uh, in limit order configuration you have two uh, parameters one is sll difference and the other one is seconds to modify sll difference is the points that you give uh, between trigger price and limit price so whenever we are uh, setting up a stop loss in the terminal broker asks us for two prices right one is called the trigger price and the other is called limit price so the difference between those two prices is what you have to give here and then the last you have uh, seconds to modify it is nothing but if your order is in open state even after hitting or uh, jumping above the trigger price it will exit at current market price this is extremely useful in case of heavy volatility or uh, huge jumps sometimes we see that current market price of a particular option jumps both our trigger price and limit price right in that case it will wait for three seconds or five seconds as per your wish and then it will exit your position in the market price and then you also have move sl to cost which means if one leg hits the stop loss other 
leg stop loss will be trailed to cost price and finally you can also choose a weekdays okay which uh, week day uh, you want to trade and then you can hit on save now uh, last but not the least you also have a global max profit and global max loss which means you can set maximum profit or loss for all the strategies combined let us say you have five strategies running uh, today in the market hours you can set a uh, max profit or max loss and then hit on update you will get a small pop-up saying that if this maximum profit or maximum loss is achieved future strategies will not work for today because that is what client wants right um, once 5,000 or 10,000 losses achieved, he doesn't want to trade for that particular day. So uh, future strategies will not work for that particular day. Just say OK and then uh, give whatever amount that you want. And you can see in the logs it says maximum profit enabled uh, and maximum loss enabled. One key feature is even while your strategies are running, if you want to change this figure from 5,000 to 2,000, you can simply hit on update and then you can see that from 50,000 it is changed to 2,000. So during the real time market also you can change this, this global max profit or global max loss. And finally you also have open positions. If you hit on exit all, you exit from all the strategies at once. And uh, you also have profile where you can see all your details and help link in case if you need support uh, then please feel free to reach out to us on our WhatsApp number. We are available from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. during market hours. Okay. And finally, uh, you also have logout option. Just hit on the logout option and it will exit from the application. I hope this is useful. And as I said, in case if you have more questions, please reach out to us on our WhatsApp number. Thank you. Have a good day.